Patrick here moving on with radicals. We're not going to talk about adding and subtracting radicals. So I've got three examples we're going to go over. Now, the general rule with adding and subtracting radicals is that in order to add or subtract radicals, the radicals have to be the same. And then you can add or subtract the coefficients that are in front. So if we have something like this, this would simplify to a plus or minus b root c. You keep the radical, you don't add whatever is inside the radical. So for example, let's say we got, um, let's say 2 root 3 plus 5 root 3. Well, notice these radicals, they're the same. So we can add the coefficients that are in front. So 2 plus 5 gives us 7, and then the radical we keep the same, right? Or let's say we have, uh, let's say 5 root 7 minus 2 root 7. Well, same radical, so they're like like terms. That's another way to think about this. So we could subtract the coefficients in front. So 5 minus 2 gives us 3, and this would be root 7, right? So taking this and applying it to these examples, negative 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5, notice the radicals are the same, so we could add the coefficients in front. So negative 2 plus 4 gives us 2, and then the radical stays the same. So 2 root 5 is the answer for that. This one, notice that we have multiple radicals. So we got this root 6 here, but then we have root 2. So when you have different radicals, you can't be adding or subtracting them. The only time you could add or subtract is when the radicals are the same. So it's like collecting like terms here. So these two root sixes, we would do five minus two, which is three root six. The radical stays the same. And then these we would do separately. So three minus five gives us negative two. And then the radical or root two stays the same. And then with these two, there's nothing we can do because these are not like terms. The radicals are different. So three root six minus two root two, that is the final answer number two. And then number three, notice that all of the radicals here are different. We got root 32, root 18, root 12, root 27. However, notice that we could simplify these radicals first. So that's another scenario that you're going to run into. Sometimes you're going to have to simplify the radicals first and then see if there's any like terms. So notice with uh, questions one and two, the radicals were fully simplified. So root five, root five, we can't simplify that further. Root six, can't simplify that further. Root two, can't simplify that further. But root 32, we could simplify that further. That ends up being root 16 times root two. And here, minus 5 over 2, the 5 over 2 is just a coefficient in front. And then root 18, we could uh, split that up into root 9 times root 2. Minus 3 over 2, that's just a coefficient. Root 12, we could split that up into root 4 times root 3. And then uh, root 27, we could split that up into root 9 times root 3. Right, so before adding or subtracting, you always want to simplify fully and then see if there's going to be like terms. So what's going to happen here? So root 16 is 4, root 2, can't do anything about that. And then we have minus 5 over 2, and then root 9 is 3. Root 2, can't do anything about that. And then we have minus 3 over 2, root 4 is 2, and then root 3, can't simplify that further. And then this, root 9, is 3, and then root 3 can't do anything about that. So now we have 4 root 2, 5 over 2 times 3, that gives us 15 over 2, and there's a minus here, so minus 15 over 2, root uh, 2. And then 3 over 2 times 2, the 2's cancel out, so we're just left with minus 3 root 3, and this is minus 3 root 3. 
And now notice that we simplify, we have like terms. We got this root two, root two here, and then root three, root three. So we can add or subtract the coefficients that are in front. So we got four minus 15 over two. Well, we're subtracting a fraction here, so the four we could change into eight over two. So eight minus 15, that gives us negative seven over two. And then the radical in front stays the same. And then minus three, minus three, that gives us minus six root three. So that there is the final answer for that, right? So be on the lookout for those scenarios where you first have to, where initially there's no common radicals, there's no like terms, but when you simplify them first, then you end up having like terms and then they get simplified further. Right, so that's how you uh, add and subtract radicals. You just gotta look for radicals that are the same. Simplified first, same radical, then you can add or subtract the uh, coefficients in front.